All right, so hello and welcome to another Android Studio tutorial where in this video we'll be talking about how to make a chatbot in Android Studio. And in the previous video, you were able to see the demo of what we are creating. So if you haven't seen that video yet, I do encourage you to watch that. Otherwise, let's get started with the project setup. So this whole video will be concentrated on putting all the XML files in place and creating the build.gradle file. So the first thing you should be aware of is that there is a link in the description below where you can find a link to the repository on GitHub. So you can either choose to clone that or you can follow along with this tutorial and just take it step by step so you can find out what everything does. And the first thing you want to do in here is click on app. And then we're gonna click on build.gradle because inside here we actually have to take a few dependencies. And as you can see down here, we have one for the recycler view, one for the coroutines and one for the lifecycle components although we will not be using the lifecycle components, so you can ignore that safely. And we will just be copying the recycler view and the coroutines for Kotlin. Now we can go to our project and open the Gradle scripts folder and click on build.gradle. And at the bottom, we're just gonna go ahead and paste them in. Then we can go ahead and click on sync now. Perfect, and that will take care of the dependencies for this project. So all we need is a recycler view and the coroutines. Then we can go ahead and close the Gradle scripts folder and open our res folder where the first folder we'll be opening is the values folder and we are going to click on styles. And we're gonna go back to our GitHub page and go back and click on source because we need to find our res file which is located in the main folder and we can click on res and inside here click on values at the bottom and we will click on styles and we're just gonna copy and paste all of this inside. So just copy and paste that in. So the first thing you're going to notice is that we're going to have the same three items that we have for the primary color, the primary dark and the color accent. But then I also decided to add a few styles and this will allow us to customize the bottom of the app where you have the navigation that's out of the screen and also the top app bar. So this will take care of the status bar where the time is displayed and this bottom attribute will make sure that it is a light status bar, which means the text will be displayed as dark. Otherwise, it will be very hard to read. Then right below, we have the navigation bar color. And the navigation bar color is the one that you'll find at the bottom where you usually have that triangle, circle and square that allows you to navigate through your phone. And this is just so I can set it to a light color such as this light white or light gray, we can call it. And you will also get an error here, most probably that this window light navigation requires API level 27 and above but uh, you can safely ignore this. This is not important. Your app will still compile. And this right here is just made to make sure that our text in the action bar displays as dark because by default, you'll have the text display as white. This style is actually a composition of these two styles and their only purpose is to make the title in the action bar black. So we can actually display a light action bar with dark text and the user can read what's on the action bar. But up next, we're gonna go ahead and click on the colors.xml. And the first color we're gonna change is the color primary and we want to change that to white. And then right after we want to get a darker color and this is not completely black, but it is quite near. And this is kind of a gray black. So I just wanted to do hash one five. And then finally, the bottom one is gonna be the color accent, which we probably will not see in this video, but I just like having it as red because I think it's a really cool color to have in an application. So those are the colors I'm gonna be using for this application. You're more than welcome to use your own colors, but uh, that's how I decided to make it. The next thing we have to do is go to our drawable file and we can actually safely close this values folder because we will not be using it any time later. So let's go ahead and right click here and then we're gonna click on new and drawable resource file. And the first thing you want to make sure to type in is for the root element, you want to click shape. And then as a file name, we're gonna call the first one round underscore button and click on okay. And since this is a shape, the only thing we have to define in here is a corner radius. And this will be used to define the shape of our buttons. So we're just gonna type corners and then we're gonna add Android radius and we're gonna insert 20 dp. And we're gonna add a closing tag. And up next, we need to create some round boxes for both of the chat boxes. And one's gonna be with a sharp corner to the right and another one's gonna have a sharp corner to the left. So to do this, we just have to go and right click on drawable again. 
and click drawable resource file. And we're gonna change this to a shape again. And this time we are going to call it send underscore round underscore box and click on okay. And inside here, we need to define all the corners so we can actually customize it a bit better. So the first one we're gonna do is Android top left radius, which is gonna be 20 dp. And then we're gonna add Android top right radius, which is also going to be 20 dp. Then Android bottom left radius, which is going to be 20 dp as well. And finally, we have the bottom right radius, which we are going to leave at zero dp. And then we can actually just copy and paste this inside because we're gonna be using the exact same layout to create our other text box, which will be used for the bot. And to do this, we'll just type in receive round box and click on okay. And the only thing we're gonna change inside here is the top left radius. So we're gonna change that to zero dp and change the bottom right radius to 20 dp. And that will take care of the styles for the chat boxes. Up next, we need to open our layout folder and inside here, we're gonna create a new XML file. So we're gonna type, so we're gonna click on layout resource file and we are going to call this one message underscore item. And then we can just click on okay. And as soon as that loads, we will click on the split view, but we're not gonna type this in manually. We are gonna go back to the GitHub repository and we're gonna click on res up here. And inside here, you will have a folder called layouts and we're gonna click on message underscore item XML. Then we just wanna click on raw and we can copy and paste this inside. And as you can see there, we will have two different chat boxes. One is gonna be red with the sharp corner at the top left, and one's gonna be green with the sharp corner in the bottom right. So if this displays for you, everything is going perfect, and we can move on to the activity underscore main XML. Then inside here, we're gonna go also to the split view, and we are going to go back to our GitHub repository, click on layout, and this time click on activity underscore main XML. Then we have to click on raw, of course, and we're gonna copy everything that's inside here. So let's just replace whatever text we had in here earlier. So once you have pasted it, the first thing we're gonna go ahead and do is remove this dot UI from the context for the tools up here. Then I can just explain real quickly what I did here. So the first thing we have here is a linear layout, which is the one you'll find at the bottom. And that takes an edit text and a button inside and as you can see for the edit text, I defined a drawable background, which is the round button background. And the same thing goes for the button, of course. So the user can just go ahead and type a message inside there, and then they can click on the send button and the button will add the text to the recycler view above. Then right below, we have a recycler view, which takes up this part of the screen. And that will be the place where we will see all of the messages displayed. And finally, we have a view, which has no purpose other than to create a nice, light blue bar at the top. And that will separate it from the action bar above. And also one more thing, as you can see right here, we don't really have a nice view of the items inside the recycle view, but uh, I did define that I want this recycle view to have a tools list item, which is the message underscore item that we created over here. And for some odd reason, when I create the project and paste it in, it doesn't like to display it in here. But one way to fix this is to go up and click on build and rebuild the project. And as you can see, as soon as the project was rebuilt, you will have the item displayed inside the recycler view. Also, we will fix this later in the application. So of course, when we run the application, you will see only one chat box on each line, but to make this work, we are going to be using two chat boxes on the same line. And essentially inside the recycler view adapter, we will only display one depending on who is sending the message. But with that being said, that's all I wanted to show you for the first video. This just takes care of the XML. And of course, if you have any questions regarding this video, please leave them in the comment section below and I will do my best to answer them if they are relevant. Otherwise, I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.